us. Amen. 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 Of this fine ministry, amen. Yes, yes. She's such a beautiful, gracious person, yes, inward yes, yes. and outward. Yes, and we yes. thank God for the leadership that she displays. Amen, amen. And we thank God for the connection that she has for the man of God of this house. Yes. How many of you yes. Yes. just love to hear the man of God speak? Amen. the best teacher I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a prolific teacher. Yeah. We thank God for the man of God. How many instructions for this week? But we need to hear a word from God that he's going to instruct yeah. us on yeah. what to do. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have that person yeah. who's yeah. going to deliver the word of God. Yeah. Somebody say uncut. uncut. Oh, my God, because yeah. he's going to do it. Yeah. All we have to simply say is God use me. Yeah. Yeah. Let me be available. Let me not just hear the word of God, but be a doer of the word of God. Amen. Amen. So the next voice that you will hear after that of the voices of David is that of the man of God of this house. Yeah. Bishop. See the rain. 
I don't care, care who knows I'm yes. saved. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm glad about it. Yes. I'm sanctified and I'm yes. glad about it. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and I'm glad about it. Yes. Good. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I want to be a part of that chosen generation. Yes. <laughs> that peculiar people. Yes. That the word of God is talking about. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 10. Beginning with that fourth verse. The enemy. The enemy. Whether you don't know it or not, there is an enemy with your name on it. Who plays with your mind. The National Negro College Fund has a slogan that the mind turns a thing to, to waste. Well, I if I can say this, I would like to say that if the enemy can get a hold of your mind, yes, yes, he can. then he has you. Anytime that you allow anybody to mess with your mind or take control of that, your mind, they have you. Anytime that you can get up <laughs> And you're more concerned about your job mm, uh, rather uh, than uh, your family and your relationship with God. Mm, yes, let me know that the enemy has control yes, of yes, your yes, mind. Yes, Anytime yes, where, where when you can go to the mall mm -hmm. rather than coming and being in the presence of God, mm -hmm. let me know that the enemy has control of your in the time where you can sit and watch a football game, rather than come and be in the presence of God, let me know that the enemy has control of your mind. Any time where you think that anything outside of God is more important than God, let me know that the enemy has control of your mind. Any time a man is more important. To you that God let me know that the enemy has control of your mind. Anytime you allow a woman to have more control over you than God, let me know that the enemy has control of your mind. You need to look at somebody and say, time for me to get my mind back. In the shape that is in, yeah. I need my mind back. back. Yeah. Right? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Mm -hmm. Look at verse four. Verse four, right here. What I love about the Word of God and, and, and teaching the Word and preaching the Word of God is that I can give my opinion all I want. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's just an opinion. That's right. But I like to read the Word because if you want to argue in your subconscious mind. Well. About what the word says, then you just wasted your time. Right. But the word ain't gonna change. Right. So let me tell you what the word of God says. Look at Second Corinthians ten, beginning the fourth mm -hmm. verse. It says this. It says, "For the weapons uh -huh. of our warfare are not carnal." Uh -huh. Yeah, that means you ain't got nothing to do with it. With your mm -hmm. carnal self, mm -hmm. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Look at verse five. Casting down imagination. We live in this fantasy land. Come on. That we call life. Wow. And the reason why many people are in the shape that they in is because they in a fantasy land. The enemy has taken you to the land of Oz. Have fun. Have fun. You're in a fantasy. And what, I, what, what you need to understand about a fantasy is that the fantasy ain't true. Mm. It's just in your mind. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You in a fantasy when you think that he really loves you. Mm. Come on now. But the reality is, if he ain't married you yet, after all of these years, he don't plan on. Get out of the fantasy. Get out of the fantasy. Come, 
Come on back to reality and make sure you understand. My God, my God. Look at this, look at this. Casting down uh, imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Can y'all just allow me today to preach and teach from a subject? Go ahead, Bishop. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Or you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I didn't ask you how other people see you. I didn't ask you how the pastor see you. Uh -huh. I didn't ask you how the folks on your job see you, how your wife see you, how your children see you, how your friends see you. I ask you the question, how do you see uh -huh. yourself? Uh -huh. Because if I was to ask the question, how do other folks see you, you'll be sitting here wondering what the next person think, think about you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the Bible said, as a man thinketh in his own heart. Oh, it don't matter what you think anyway. That's right. That's as, a, as a man thinketh yeah. in his heart, so is he. The best person who qualified to really see who you really are is you. Amen. Nobody knows you better than you. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know my mother gave birth to me. Some 49 years ago, mm -hmm. best thing that ever happened to her. The rest of them that came along, she just, she just, she just really just, just really tolerated them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all understand my siblings who are here today. She didn't want to tell y'all that. So permit me to go ahead and, and tell y'all. I've been holding this in for about 49 years. Release this thing so y'all can understand. It ain't nothing personal. It ain't nothing personal. Uh, Brother Jeffrey, Brother Jeffrey uh, uh, preached the message one time. It's the fact. <laughs> it ain't no person so, but, but, but watch this Nobody knows you better than you when, when you got everybody else convinced That you got it going on There is still one person Who really knows you And that is you I don't care what you try to do To convince somebody else that you, you have arrived, the only person that is not convinced is you. Uh -huh. It's you. See, you got to, while you're trying to sell everybody else on you, you need to be trying to convince yourself. Uh -huh. Because yourself is going to be real about you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you try to convince somebody that you have arrived, yourself telling you, I don't know who you're looking at. I look at the same person that I am. And I'm not convinced that I'm made. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Or, or when you got everyone around you convinced that you're all right. There is still one person who really knows you, and that is you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, even when folks, those of us who are married, who really try to convince everybody that our marriage is all together, uh -huh. that our marriage is so tight, uh -huh. so clear, the only somebody who is not convinced help us now. is the two individuals who are in, in, involved. Uh -huh. See, when you try to convince people of your level of maturity in Christ, there is still one person who really knows. And that is you. The Bible declares that when you become a Christian, you are a new creature. The whole old thing, I become new. Now, the problem is, see, we try to convince somebody that we got, that, now, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. You trying to convince somebody that you knew, but you still use an old tech. That's just like you got a new promotion on your job, but you still doing the work you just came from. I ain't never been, I never began to do the work of, of 
out of the new position you have, you still got your old mindset. You just got a new title, but you still got the old mindset. So he said, forget, he said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, all things are passed away. Behold, all things. My way of thinking, my way of acting, my way of doing things has got to change to the to the level of where I am going.